The 9 Most Horrifying Things Found Living Inside People Doctors find cockroach living in woman's skull. In a true nightmare come to life. Doctors in India discovered a living cockroach in a woman's skull after she complained of a crawling sensation inside her head. According to news reports, the cockroach entered the woman's nose as she slept and bore a path underneath her skin up to her skull. The woman said she could feel a weird burning sensation and had to wait until the morning to go see the doctor. The cockroach was alive and didn't want to come out, according to the doctors. woman's mouth impregnated by squid sperm. Many people have hang-ups about eating raw seafood, whether for health reasons or some other aversion, to each his or her own. But one 63-year-old woman got something else disgusting when she ate some partially cooked squid in South Korea in June 2012. As she bit into a part of the delicious dish, which still had its organs intact, she felt a pricking and foreign body sensation in her mouth. She spat it out, but she was too late. Pods of squid semen had already shot into her mouth, impregnating the mucous membranes of her tongue, cheek, and gums. Doctors later removed the 12 small, white spindle-shaped, bug-like organisms, called spermatophores and also identified a sperm sac. They didn't have eyes or little baby tentacles or anything, but still. The products of animal sperm were living inside her mouth. This wasn't the first case of this happening, either. In December 2011, another poor sap got this report from the doctor. The sperm bags of the squid had thrust into the squamous epithelium, inner lining, of the patient's hard palate, roof of the mouth. The remaining part of the raw squid consisted of the testis and the sperm bags. Who's hungry? Botfly lays eggs in, 5-year-old's eyeball. There are few things worse than getting something in your eye. On the bright side, the temporary blindness is usually easy to alleviate. Simply remove the eyelash piece of glitter, speck of dust, whatever, and go on about your day. For one 5-year-old boy in Honduras, however, the solution was a bit more complicated and expensive. That's because the thing in his eye was a human botfly. Do yourself a favor and never, ever Google, botfly and for the love of kittens. Do not then click images, these little buggers are very selfish. The lady botfly lays her eggs on the outside of another living creature, like a mosquito, that will drop them onto bigger animals so that when the eggs hatch, the larva can squirm inside the host to brew. Some species of botfly prefer to burrow inside warm-blooded animals, like squirrels, horses, and human people. A visit from a botfly parasite is usually not that hard to fix, a simple surgical procedure will do the trick. But the larva living inside the Honduran boy's face was both late stage and camped out in his anterior orbit. That meant the surgery required a bunuel-style incision on the old conjunctiva. swims up 14-year-old's pee hole. I'm sure you've heard of that little fish the Candirua, that will swim into your pee hole if you ever whip it out in the Amazon. It's real, and a real good reason to never whip it out in the Amazon. But there's another, related story that, you should know. Think of it as a cautionary tale about handling exotic pets. In India, a 14-year-old boy went to the hospital complaining of pain in his bladder and an inability to urinate. The doctors did an ultrasound and discovered an object in the bladder, blocking his urethra. The boy was taken to surgery where the doctors cut him open. Can you guess what they found? The fish was 2 centimeters long and lodged all the way up inside his bladder. And here comes the best part. When asked how it got there, this was the boy's answer, while he was cleaning the fish tank in his house, he was holding a fish in his hand and went to the toilet for passing urine. While he was passing urine, the fish slipped from his hand and entered his urethra and then he developed all these symptoms. 
After surgery, the boy was released, but taken to psychiatric counseling. Neil swims up 56-year-old's pee hole. Leeches, maggots, seeing eye dogs. There's a long colorful history of humans trying to make lesser animals do things for them. In England, rich people pay cash money to lay in spa pools and let little eels nipple the dead skin off their bodies. Hey, I'm not here to judge. The process leaves the skin looking so fresh and so clean. And it's so effective that other countries have hopped on board the eel spa bandwagon. In 2011, 56-year-old Zhang Nan went for treatment at one such establishment in China. But he was never the same again. Nan was laying in the pool when he started to feel something sharp tugging at his penis. He looked down to see a small eel working its way up into his urethra. According to Nan, he tried to grab it and pull it out, but the little fish was too slippery. Its body working like a lubricant gag, the eel disappeared inside Nan's shaft in a matter of seconds. He was taken to hospital and immediately put into surgery. After three hours, the animal was removed. It was six inches long. Six. Six inches. Forgive me. But sometimes the cost of beauty is just too much. Maggots grow inside guys' spout. You know that feeling you get when someone says, like, there's a small spider in your hair, and for a second, you can feel it. Your head starts itching, your scalp tingling, and you swear, you can feel your hair moving. Only after sufficient scratching, flailing, shrieking does the horror and sensational torture subside. Afterward, you feel crazy. But sometimes there is a bug on your head and no one tells you until it's too late. In 2007, Colorado native Aaron Dallas was having the worst case of itchy scalp in his life. It had been weeks since it started. He had tried special shampoos, ointments, and even saps, whatever those are, but nothing would help. Over time, the itching took on a life of its own. Dallas said he could feel his scalp moving. He felt sharp pains that knocked him to his knees. He said, I'd put my hand back there and feel them moving. I thought it was blood coursing through my head. I could hear them. I actually thought I was going crazy. They were maggots. Five baby botfly larvae implanted in his dome by a mosquito. Probably during a trip to Belize he took earlier in the year. When doctors got Dallas under the knife, they found open pit in his scalp that was crawling with the bugs. All about half the size of a penny. It really makes you scratch your head. Woman's brain tumor turns out to be tapeworm. Gross in Phoenix, Rosemary Alvarez was convinced she had a brain tumor. With symptoms ranging from blurred vision to numbness in her limbs. She went to the ER twice and had a CAT scan, but the results always came up clear. Concerned, she finally convinced a neurosurgeon to do an MRI. When he looked at the results, he had Alvarez rushed into surgery right away. Did you ever see Kindergarten Cop? Nestled in Alvarez's brain, eating it, was a parasite known as the pork tapeworm. Even more distasteful. Doctors said, someone, somewhere, had served her food that was tainted with the feces of a person infected with the poor tapeworm parasite. Man eats 9-foot tapeworm at Chicago restaurant. Models, actresses, and other attention-aholic thin people often say they gobble up everything in sight, but never gain a pound. What's their secret? Maybe it's a tapeworm. These parasites are often found in undercooked beef, pork, or fish. The lie dormant until they reach the digestive system, and then they latch onto the intestinal walls. There they sick pretty, just waiting for the next double-double, or Doritos taco, or other revolting thing the host eats. Then, like the actual spawn of Satan, they feed off of the host's meals, digest them, and grow, and grow. In 2006, Anthony Franz had a salmon salad at a fancy Chicago restaurant. A little while later, he had a 9-foot-long tapeworm removed from his intestines. Coincidence. Lawsuit, says, maybe, tapeworms can grow as long as 39 feet, which is almost as long as four basketball goals laid end-to-end. -end. 
If you're sick of the lemonade cleanse, you can probably order one of these little miracle workers from eBay.